there, my name is Promise. Welcome back to more Hearts of Iron 4 Old World Blues. We are playing as the Mojave chapter, trying to conquer our way around in the north and enjoy a bit of extra territory and so on and so forth. Repair another turbine. We can keep doing this. I mean, but I don't want to get the consumer goods. We don't need more power, so we can ignore some of that nonsense for now. We're exploring a weird futuristic teleporty land that's far away. I don't know how this has happened, but we've managed to pull this one off. It's kind of cool. Uh, I think we're going to go ahead and start training up a bunch more defensive divisions. Except we run out of manpower if we do that. So we got to be a little bit careful. I can't afford to do too much. There's a new thing done. The X-17 facility is notable for a strange technology within it. The Trauma Harness. These suits are essentially a mix of power armor frames and robots able to drive and keep soldiers walking indefinitely, even centuries after their death. If we were to install this technology into our power armor frames, our soldiers would be practically unkillable. I mean, I like 4% more division organization. That's pretty good. That seems really strong. What is this? It's an it's a freaky plant. What are we finding in this thing? We're opening up the little shop of horrors now. If you guys don't know what that is, it's Kind of supposed to be a comedy horror movie. It's a bit of a musical and stuff. Downtown Little Shop of Horrors. The talking plants and that kills a lot of people. It's kind of funny. <laughs> Worth watching at some point, probably. But, uh, e. Anyway. Uh, hi, NCR. I can't help but notice you're here. How you doing there? I'm sure you're fine. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and do a little conquest of the White Legs now. Yoinkus. I don't think these guys can hold up against me, and I'm pretty sure I can just march through all of his territory, so we're just gonna go ahead and do that. So, aggressive, just, you know, a nice a nice little kickback, uh, do-nothing kind of war. Do we want to attack Sorrows next, or would we like to attack the 80s and say, get the frick away from me? 130 days? 150 days. Faster to kill the 80s. So here's the problem with conquering some of these guys. Um, it's going to take me way too much manpower to try and get compliance up. But, I mean, there's something to be said about it. Um, do we have any intel on what kind of factories you might have? A lot. Dude, you got like as much as the 80s. Alright, we're going to attack you then. Let's justify a war goal on you. Might as well try to snag this before they join in on anything. I was a little concerned that the White Legs might join um, the Kaisar at the worst possible time here, but so far so good. A long defunct research station, X-22 focused on researching plant life and its military applications. It was here that the spore carrier, Boavera Mordecana, was created and later transferred to Vault 22. The team that secured control of this facility ended up taking some damage after facing a particularly dangerous foe known as Patient Zero in the terminal logs. Within X-22, there are some particularly useful breeds of plants that, if used in the right way, can help us in our mission. Add technology, monstrous plants. What? <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. This will be like a weird, like, reward technology, right? Hey, vertebrate schematics. Wait, can I research vertebrates? Okay, well, we'll come back to that in a minute. Um, I don't see... Monstrous plants. Manpower training time, H, they're actual units. And they're really good at fighting anything with plants. Oh my god. We can train monstrous plants. What the heck? Hold on. What are they? Special. No. Where are they? No. What? I don't know how you get them, though. I don't see any evidence of monstrous plants as a unit. So I guess I have no idea how that works. Huh. Well, maybe at some point we find out. But, um, anyway. In the meantime, let's get back to the killing. What the heck, dude? What the actual heck? Hey, can we get another upgrade for this? Absolutely. More organization? I'm just sort of assuming that this is really going to affect things like my power armor, because it affects... 
It affects special forces and power armor both. So we'll keep doing this. I'm just trying to ramp up how much I can get army experience. Oh, right, and planes. Hi. Get up over here and uh, go do your close air support thing up here. Go, 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 bomb, go bomb them. Go bomb them and have fun. Have we not been producing any planes, by the way? I don't think we have. What are we building right now? Still trying to build out some military factories. Not getting very far. What's going on? Taking a little attrition, but honestly, we're moving so fast, these guys can't do much of anything. We can go for our last doctrine. Heavy special forces are going to get a lot of stats. We are now trying to build up some monoplane fighters. Anti-air would be good if I needed it, but I'm not convinced that I do yet. We're already building up machine guns. We're already building up grenades. What do I feel like I want? Probably some more infantry equipment and power armor. What does a basic like power armor division take? Support equipment, infantry equipment, anti tank. Yeah, we got all of that going for us. So we're fine on that front. Yeah, there's the anti-air. So the extra air attack would be pretty nice in some ways. Monstrous Plants are a support company. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. They take infantry equipment and support equipment. They gave a shocking amount of soft attack. It reduces armor and piercing a little bit, but everything else gets better. Oh my god, we're adding on monstrous freaking plants, dude. <laughs> Alright, let's go! Let's eat him! I'm gonna feed you to my plants! I've named him Gregory! It's gonna be great! Oh my god, this is hilarious. Alright. Um, how are we doing over here? White legs are pretty much dying. Uh, got a little ways to go still. I mean, these guys are going way past their stuff. No, Veronica! How can you fall ill if you're a computer program? It doesn't make any sense, Veronica! No! It's fine. Intelligence Agency, we have bribed leadership. Hooray! Let's get right back to the spying thing. I want to find out what's going over here, because I i guarantee you he's going to try to kill me at some point. Alright, we'll capture another area. Our paladins have discovered a strange facility that bears mention to a strange space-age alloy known as Saturnite. A metallic ceramic alloy with an unusual ability to retain heat and to hold an edge. We can use this material to increase our tool's durability, giving all divisions 6% more attack. This is fun. <laughs> this is going great, yo. Me likey. Get them victory points. Get up here to Vault 24. Get them. I want to kill these guys so I can move on to something else. How long until I can kill these guys again? Eh, a little while still. All right, we can get more planes. Fighter plane agility, close air support defense. Who cares about that? We want ground attack, dang it. Uh, that's pretty far ahead of time, though. So I guess we don't worry about the rest of that for a minute. Um, we can go for this, though. Or factory output's pretty good. You know what I need is some sneaking manpower, for sure. Um, all right, so let's start. We have someone else able to take stuff, so we have to kind of work our way slowly up the desert. I do need the ability to fight the Sorrows, but as long as we take this, that gets us there. There's a few resources and stuff up here. Let's let's end turn for now. So they take a couple of ranges up here. I'm going to pass. I'm going to try working my way here. Let's get to Beaver City. Can't get to Otter Creek, though. We'll take that. Pass, pass, pass. I'm a little bit worried about manpower uh, for garrisons coming out of all of this, just FYI. Um, understandably so, I think. Can't take Vault 24 yet. Are they going to take anything else, or is this it? Because it sure as heck seems like that's it. I could just create these guys as a puppet state. I could do that. some reason, this stuff takes a little bit too much. Hang on, take that. And then we'll finish you off. And that's it. Okay. So we get all of that, so the Mojave chapter grows. I'm accomplishing a lot with, like, one army. I really am. The sleepers. 
There's no way for me to get to them. I can barely get to the Sorrows. If I could have killed the Khans, that would have been great, but oh well. I'm just getting territory that I think will be a little bit hard for the Kaisar to get to. What's his faction look like right now? Nothing that else is bordering me, so that's good at least. Military access from New Canaan. Yeah, sure, why not? Alright, well, we got another factory. Um, start getting some reinforcements and upgrades for our common energy weapons, since we seem to be a little bit low on some of that. Really wish my intellectual support had gone up a little bit more than this, but alas and alack, it has not. Higgs Village. Is that going to have something to do with the Higgs boson? It might. We're going to find out. I mean, I probably should be spending my political power on anything else. You know, manpower and all that would be great. We, uh, we can turn you down. Road patrols is fine. Once these guys get up to a reasonable amount of compliance, say 60%, I don't mind turning some of this down a little bit. Save me some of my uh, manpower and whatnot. This is where getting the dogs actually would be helpful, by the way, because I could have better suppression and save some manpower. Yeah, having suppression dogs could make sense here. The X7 facility is actually a gigantic artillery gun! Of which isn't actually of much use due to the fact that it's completely isolated from any real threat. Still, we can make the ammunition and convert it to something useful. We get a whole frick ton of fragmentation grenades. Alright. Little Yangtze. Like the Yangtze River? Don't know what that's going to do for me, but alright. Uh, this is all ahead of time, so we're not going to worry about it. We can go for you. A bit more monthly population. Yeah, probably, honestly, just so we can start getting um, more recruitable population to work with. That does seem kind of important. Are there a lot of refugees and stuff? No. 719 ran away from me. Look, this is a great place to live, all right? You shouldn't be afraid. We are your friends. Come and live with us. We'll take very good care of you. Breakthrough on all infantry seems pretty solid. Hard to be upset about that. And from an equipment perspective, I think we still just need some basic infantry equipment. We can get a little bit more power armor. Uh, I do not need to produce much in the way of fragmentation grenades anymore. That's for dang sure. And then, yeah, I guess more close air support isn't a bad idea. So, hang on. I want to know... Real quick, under air, if I scroll the rest of the... Verde bird, verde bird, verde bird transports, verde bird lead to gunships, verde bird. It's a year ahead of time, but I don't care. I got extra research slots. I want the verde bird. That'll be good. Grenades, reliability or soft attack? I mean, pretty obviously soft attack. Ba boom. We're not even using any of these yet, though. We should probably get some explosives. Demolition support? Yes. We will do that. Okay, that's good. Don't have enough experience for anything else, unfortunately, but that's all right. We have managed to decipher the uh, the. We have managed to decipher the cipher of the Kaiser. If he dares to bring open a can of smack butt on me, um, I'm going. I'm going to do some nasty stuff to him and break his cipher and try to kill him. These are big, strong words coming from a man who has a very, very small army. And no manpower to speak of, but well, don't worry about it. It's probably fine. Probably. Lil Yangtze, give me, give me population. Give me manpower. It seems we finally found the origin of the slave collars we found across the wastes. Here in Big Mountain, we have found an ancient Chinese prisoner camp populated by ghoul prisoners still wearing coll collars. Oh, good. All right. Infantry armor production costs. Oh. That doesn't mean much to me. Higgs Village. Go it. Secure the Forbidden Zone. I just want to know what happens when we secure the dome. I just want to know. There's got to be good stuff in the last of it. There's got to be really good stuff in the last of it. There's the Forbidden Zone. We're almost done with this. It's going to be amazing, probably. Or terrible. I don't know which yet. Uh, in just a couple months, we'll be able to attack the Sorrows. Sorry to kill you, Waking Cloud, but it's gotta happen. Gente del Sol has joined the Rio Pact. Ah, yes. The Rio Pact, indeed. Is, uh... Okay, the Texan Economic Union is a thing, and this is the Rio Pact. The Rio Pact can be a pretty good counter against the Kaisar if they pair up with the NCR nicely, but... I don't know. 
I almost played as the Western Brotherhood in this particular uh, series, by the way, instead. But they're not a recommended nation, so I actually don't remember if they have, like, a really good national focus. It looks like they do. These guys could have been fun to play. But also, they... M I, I actually should have read the dev diary in a bit more de detail. They might be getting an update pretty soon, so, like... I thought, alright, well, let's just wait on that. Let's play as Mojave Chapter. Small little nation, you know? Who knows what's gonna happen with them? There's the Higgs Village. Deep within Big Mountain, we have found a strange facility. An indoor artificial suburban village, seemingly made for the executives that used to run Big Mountain. While this place has taken some damage over the years, it is still remarkably intact, all things considered. We can study the wiring and circuitry. Research for construction. Okay. I mean, it's alright. Not as exciting as some of the other options, but alright. Let's study the Forbidden Zone. And then we'll finally secure the last dome. Ba boom. Alright. This will be the last one. We'll see what comes out of it. And then I need to focus my political power and other stuff. We have full brotherhood control. I like seeing that. That feels pretty good, yo. Feels real good. Alright. Um. Let us continue rolling out the power armor. It's just the most efficient way to get bang for our buck as far as fighters with superior equipment. Like, when manpower is low, the best thing you can do is quality over quantity, right? At least that's my thought. So I figure, we should probably just keep working on the power armor and keep training up more of it. Our agent was captured. Dang it. Well, um, mine the Colorado? Uh, anyway, we have to rescue our captured operative now, so let's do that real quick. Commencement ready. There are things we apparently can do to these guys. Some interesting spy operations. That'll be exciting. New Reno declares a war, alright. How much longer can I keep killing people before the Kaisar decides, hmm, no more? How much longer is it gonna be, do you think? I don't know. Still working on more of these military factories. Let's go ahead and do a little conquest action. Get him, Vicky! Get him! Lannis' cohort declares war. Secured the Forbidden Zone. There we go. It's been called again and again by robo-scorpions. Skittering about the land has finally been secured by our forces, much to the chagrin seemingly of whoever is leading these robo-scorpions. This Dr. Mobius. When we finally went and secured this facility, we weren't expecting to find the mastermind that was running it, yet we didn't. Whoever this Ma Dr. Mobius was seems to have vanished, having gone off to the Dome to meet with the other leaders of this place. We get Scurry Salvager Bots and new technology, Robo Scorpions. Alright, now we're gonna go secure the Dome. The whole mountain shall be mine. There are people here, apparently. Apparently. So wait, what the frick are... Okay, support robots. They count as a support robot. Interesting. I don't suppose they count as like another weird support company or anything, do they? Monstrous plants, vertebrates, comedics. New, 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 new. Okay. No, it doesn't appear to be another weird technology or anything. Horses. Hmm. Um, okay. Well, anyway. I'll go ahead and research another level of radar. And quite frankly, I wouldn't mind getting some upgrades for that out here somewhere. I need some serious vision, man. I want to know what the heck is going on. Lots of intelligence will be helpful. We should be able to win this war with no problem, I imagine. There's volatile explosives done. I don't even remember what we were doing that. Oh, right, we were doing the frag grenade upgrades. Right, 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 right. Uh, let's go for an upgrade to our machine guns. More soft attack? Question is, do we want some hard attack and piercing as well? Not really. I feel like just raw soft attack is good. Kind of hard to go wrong with that. Hey, can we go to our militias and give you guys some doggos? So that increases the suppression just a little bit. Hopefully that will reduce how many people need to be doing this. All right, so the Western Brotherhood and the NCR are now at each other's throats. It's good. Means I probably have a little less to worry about right now. We got a treasure trove from Butcher Pete's. Thank you. Chance of getting a whole bunch of different research bonuses. I don't know which ones we got, but it seems great. Why aren't we killing these guys more efficiently? Investments have fallen through. I don't really feel like I need... No, I'll just accept a loss of some stuff. It's fine. 
Don't worry about it. Investments have fallen through. All right, we finished our doctrine. Champions of Virtue is done. So now our special forces are just that much freaking stronger. Which understandably is pretty good. Uh, let's go for some more maintenance so that we lose less of the power armor. Keep that all going. We may want to consider working toward getting some vehicles in the near future. Maybe. Take states done. Thank you. Bye. So now what? We say screw it, we just try to take the 80s. Uh, honestly, maybe. For now, until we get closer to that date, I'm gonna send a bunch of troops down over here and just hold this ground against the Kaisar, because I still have no idea if they're gonna do anything to me. I'm wary of taking any land like, let's say, the Dead Horses, where they're gonna have this, these river crossings. Unless I took them, turned them into a vassal state, and then didn't call them into war until the right time. Right? That that also would be an option for me. Let us get you. And then we may want to consider getting ourselves offensive versus defensive armies. It might be time to do that. So, what I'll actually do, then, is rearrange everything. You know, as one does. Sir. Defensive goes here. And up here at the Hoover Dam. Offensive has a fallback line here around Boulder City. A fallback line here. And a fallback line around the Helio Citadel. And the reason I am doing that... Hey there is just so if I need to send some extra heavy reinforcements in here against the Kaisar, I can quickly do so. But again, just like last time, they won't be pinned down in the event that I actually need them. Very concerned about the lack of manpower here. They want to cancel you. Let's get that back. Okay, guerrilla tactics. What? Hang on, we finished this. Securing Big Mountain. We have taken the rest of Big Mountain. Now we just have to meet with the leaders of this place. Our paladins approach the dome within the center of Big Mountain, ready to confront the figures that have been leading this place, but they weren't there. Something grave. The dome cracked. What? What? The think tank. It seems has had enough of our messing into their experiments. They have studied the technology we have used to travel to and from Big Mountain and reverse engineered it. Rumors have begun to spread across the southern Mojave. Word of robo-scorpion hordes, brainless lobotomites, and floating spheres flickering like a rainbow of torches. Oh no! Become the think tank? That sounds fun, but no, I'm staying as these guys. I'm now at war with- oh god! Okay, good news, we had troops actually already down here. Bad news, I wasn't ready for this. What can I do for you? Okay, so we've got this. I need to get... Hey. Okay, you got... Yeah, you guys go here. After this, I have some weapons to repair. And you guys get up here if you can. We're gonna immediately be fighting, so hopefully we can kill these guys quick. Let's widen out this front line a little bit. I need to get some gosh dang power armor down here ASAP and get ready to fight these guys back. I mean, this doesn't look very scary. Let's go for rumors of Sierra something. It's probably helpful. This is still ahead of time. I would love to get the extra speed, but I can't. Uh, organization, that's all ahead of time as well. Let's make the dogs more effective, blah, blah, blah. All right, so please tell me we can win this quickly. Answer is yes. They got rope floating robots. Yep. They got roboticals. Domo origato, Mr. Robato. This is gonna be bad. All right, you guys get down here quickly. To Good Springs. We need to hold this ground and surround and kill these guys fast. Can we burst through this? Yes, we can. The Mojave dr Drive-In? All right, that is what it was called, wasn't it? All right, hang on. We got, we got a fair bit. I think we actually got lucky with armies in position ready to kill these guys instantly. There we go. The think tank immediately dies. Okay, crisis averted. We okay? We're okay. Everything's fine. Everything is fine. I lost eight infantry? 
No, 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 no. Okay, no, I didn't lose the infantry. I just accidentally reassigned it to the wrong army. We're fine, we're fine, we're fine. Oh, lordy. Okay, uh, you all go over here. Sir. And then we go back to what we had before, which was you guys here. The fallback line with some of you guys here. Okay. And a couple of you guys over here. Okay, all is well, we're fine. Does anything cool happen now that these guys are dead? Anything? I see nothing. There's no new events to be done here. So wait, why why even take that national focus? Why bother taking that national focus? I'm serious. I don't know. Huh. Surely we will get something out of this arrangement. Some sort of a pop-up is just waiting to happen. Because it seems like we'd have just, we could have never done the dome, and it would have been the same deal. We gained, uh, hello, nothing out of it. New Canaan. Somehow they ate this? That's interesting. Yeah, I'm confused. A little bit. A little bit confused. Did we get our guy back? Yes, we did. Alright, get back to the spying thing. We need to start sabotaging the crud out of the Kaisar. So, Sierra Madre was another thing I was here to do. Maybe we had to do the dome to do this. Yeah, you did. You had to do that to become the Helios Brotherhood. So, the next thing to do then... I mean, we could do stuff like this, right? We could, but like... Why? Forget all of this nonsense. Forget every other national focus. We should focus down all of this. Get things like the Gaia event. All of these are different events that are going to do something. I just don't know what. I have no idea what it's going to be, but it's got to be cool. It's like contractually obligated to be awesome. So I'm currently trying to save up 200 political power because I need to allow for some... more manpower. What is this? Moniker, T, Sweden? Nah, we don't care about that. We just get a little bit of extra node income, blah, blah, blah. Still no pop-ups, by the way. No pop-ups about taking over the dome. All right. Well, there's rumors of Sierra Madre done. Uh, study our enemies. Study the cloud. Every unit leader gets attack skill. I actually need manpower, believe it or not. Rumors of the old world. Common knowledge dictates that the elders of any given society hold the largest wealth of knowledge. And that was truest within the Brotherhood of Steel. Father Elijah had learned a great many things as his life ticked away year after year, and as his youth left him, it was replaced by a ravenous desire to reach the unreachable. He had an incurable and deadly disease that had sent many fools to an early death. Old World Blues. Roll credits. But unlike his peers, Elijah possessed the skills to make this obsession a reality. Two places captivated him with their alluring glow of a bygone era of mankind. Helios I and the Sierra Madre. The former was in his new backyard, within throwing distance of the headquarters of his newly established chapter, abandoned and unattended for an unknowable amount of time. The seemingly benign solar power plant held a dark secret. Elijah had a hunch that there was more to this place than power generation, and he was determined to lay its secrets bare. His second obsession was a much deeper, more insidious love. He had heard tales of a forlorn desert jewel, the Sierra Madre. It was a place said to contain riches beyond your imagination, where any wish could be granted. Whether or not he believed these prospectors' tales, he knew that the casino and resort was using rare prototype technology. It had its dangers, he was sure, but if he could find it, he could crack it open as simply as any safe. As far as Elijah was concerned, nothing was sacred. Everything was his to know. Alright. We are now following some sort of a storyline. The Texan Brotherhood is expanding. Good for them. More brothers. Monthly population, blah, 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 blah. Looking to see if there's anything really exciting along here. I mean, I'd love to get more compliance and stuff, but meh. How are we doing on that compliance thing, by the way? We can go ahead and turn this down to something like simple road patrols. Compliance is built up mostly in a lot of other places. We're looking pretty good. Yeah, we have a lot of militia. Like, a lot of militia. I think I have nowhere near enough dogs. Nope. Lowered tariffs. Alright. We want to keep this guy here. I don't know why, but we want to keep him here. 
I believe in lower tariffs. It's fine. We are losing a lot of dogs, apparently. Because the filthy uh, resistance is killing a lot of them. What do you got against my freaking dog? Let's continue doing this whole training against the Legion thing, by the way. It looks like I can just do this infinitely until I have a ridiculous attack bonus. And maybe I could just raffle stomp the Kaisar. I mean, if he leaves me alone long enough, could we theoretically do that? I'm kind of thinking probably, yeah. Still don't think we need any of that. Wastelander, cool. Low caliber ammunition, good. Chained dog. Oh, we can only do one of these. Oh, I should have done this. I didn't notice that it was a one or the other thing. Chained dog. Are we going to find out something about some of the trolls? The 80s have declared another war. Good. They shall be distracted when I inevitably decide that I want to kill them all. Um, we're not doing anything with anti-air still, so it's kind of irrelevant to me how that works out. I guess I'll go ahead and get a recon bonus. I don't have enough experience to do anything else. I think that we have had that we have monstrous plants. It's just freaking hilarious. I mean, I don't even know if there are any like forests around. We could check, but like, yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know what we're doing with any of that. Anyway, 80s, how are we doing? We got a little ways to go, but you know, if it's if it's looking like maybe just maybe uh, we're gonna be fine, then I say we go ahead and start moving our troops this way, and we will try to snag Wendover. And basically just cut off these guys from their capital so all of these guys can easily die. And then you all will hold this line until they're properly cut off. Then we kill off his troops. The 80s actually are going to be fairly strong. We may not have enough troops to sustain this, if I'm honest. We may not. All the more reason to go ahead and start training up some additional units. Especially power armor. I just... What can I say? I love power armor. We're getting more power armor, dang it. As long as I have a little bit of manpower to spare. Alright, well, this is all the time that I've got for today and this week. So, we will come back to this. We're gonna find the gosh dang Sierra Madre. We're gonna get all these things. We're gonna get this Gaia event. And we're gonna try to assemble molecules and change all of matter. We're gonna become the alchemists of yore. And then we're gonna become the Helios Brotherhood. And we are gonna conquer everything. It's gonna be outstanding. Thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If so, I would ask you to hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.